Why are drugs prohibited? When someone says, why is this weed? Or why is this marijuana? Or why is this heroin? Or this cocaine? Or all of these, why are they prohibited? Firstly, the Quran said that there is a hurma on intoxicants. These intoxicants cover your reasoning. Secondly, because shaitan is behind them to cause destruction for you. How? Because when shaitan gets a grip of somebody who's entered the world of intoxicants, it's game over. It's hard to get back. In the ayah on drugs in the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, What? Ya ayyuhal ladina amanu. إِنَّمَا الْخَمْرُ وَالْمَيْسِرُ وَالْأَنْصَابُ وَالْأَزْلَامُ رِجْسٌ مِّنْ عَمَلِ الشَّيْطَانِ فَاجْتَنِبُوهُ لَعَلَّكُمْ تُفْلِحُونَ إِنَّمَا يُرِيدُ الشَّيْطَانُ أَنْ يُوْقِعَ بَيْنَكُمْ الْعَدَاوَةَ وَالْبَغْضَاءَ فِي الْخَمْرِ وَالْمَيْسِرِ وَيَصُدَّكُمْ عَنْ ذِكْرِ اللَّهِ وَعَنِ الصَّلَاةِ Look at this unbelievable line. Quran said that drugs, intoxicants are prohibited. Surely do you know what shaitan wants to do with you when you enter his world of drugs? Do you know what he wants to do? First thing he wants to do is he wants to bring hate and war between you and others. Subhanallah. These drug cartels that we saw in the world. How many lost their lives? Escobar, Colombian football player. Not other Escobars. The Colombian football player scored an own goal in 1994 World Cup. I don't know how many of you remember. 1994 World Cup scored an own goal. At the end, the person lost his life. The people involved in bets. And then, that's it. One cartel against another cartel. This group against this group. How many innocent children in Colombia lost their lives? Because of groups fighting each other over power. How many? As in when you look at all of these television programs, Al Chapo and everything, Wallah, the Quran explained these before they came here. The Quran said, Inna yuridu shaitan to do what? With intoxicants, with gambling. Yes, because the word Mason is mentioned. Qimar is normally used for gambling, but Qimar is part of the Mason family. You find that shaitan uses these to do what? He brings between you adawa and baghda. He brings those who take drugs, he enters them into a world of wars. Because when you start shotting, you start shotting on behalf of someone. You start dealing on behalf of someone. When you're dealing on behalf of someone, you either, because of your intellect being covered, either there are times where you deliver for that person, you make a good amount of wealth, or there are times you think, hold on a minute, I've got good money on me here in this car. Why don't I... Do something else and go and sell something without him knowing, running away with the family from the family. Before you know it, you have two groups who grew up with each other in the same city, ready to murder each other. When I read sometimes in the north of England, in the north, you hear sometimes in certain parts of the north of England, Muslims, not non-Muslims. So forget the non-Muslim. You look at the names of the drug gangs in the north of England. You see these names and you're like, Wallah, these are names. Some of them are of prophets of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Some of them are what? Some of them are of companions of the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, his family. I look at the list of names. This guy killed this guy. This guy burned this guy's house. This guy damaged this guy's car. The Quran said, you want to know what drugs are? You entered a world where shaitan is licking his lips. Because now you've entered the world, the moment you cannot use your aql to overpower shaitan, he will start to make adawa and baghda between you, hatred, animosity. There are some people here in this hall, if I was to ask them, how many friends did they lose because of drugs? If I was to ask them, how many did you lose because of drugs? How many lives got destroyed because of drugs? How many take out their anger on their parents because of drugs? Because you know, sometimes when you enter the world of weeds, whether it's a downer or an upper, you always feel the whole world's against you. Mom, you don't know what I'm on about. Dad, you don't know what I'm on about. None of you understand me. Anger, anger, anger builds up. Origin of this is who? The shaitan is the origin. Shaitan, the Quran says after that verse on drugs, إِنَّمَا يُرِيدُ الشَّيْطَانُ أَنْ يُوْقِعَ بَيْنَكُمُ الْبَغْضَاءَ Yes, he wants to bring what? He wants to bring this adawa and baghda in using what? 
في الخمر using intoxicants when he uses these intoxicants you look at some of the supporters in football matches wallah the moment he's had one of these some of them can go to 20 mashallah but the moment one of them has one of these gone 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 that person is going to say now you know some of the guys who, are, who watch football already were crazy imagine you put that in that person and then what's he going to do sudden punch up between two how many football matches have you seen where there are punch ups between groups of people willing to kick each other's heads on the ground because of an intoxicant likewise when i see countries like colombia i see countries like south america where there are lovers of jesus son of mary catholics i've lectured in costa rica i've lectured in where mexico city i've lectured in these places you see some of the most wonderful christians in the world and each one has a story related to drugs taking one of their brothers lives away each one each one these are allah's children it doesn't matter if i'm a muslim and you're a non muslim all of us are the children of allah in the sense that allah nourishes us wants the best for us and what does shaitan do after he's made you fight after he's made gangs after he's made you submissive to a guy on top who answers to a guy on top and answers to a guy on top and none of them is allah then what does he do wa yasuddakum an dhikrillah wa an as-salah then he blocks you from remembering allah first thing he blocks the remembrance of allah what does block the remembrance of allah mean you begin to forget how lucky you are with the rizq allah gave you in life you forget many of us are ungrateful look at those two parents you have thank allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for who you have for there are orphans in this world they do not have a mom and a dad there are children in this world who grew up without a parent you instead of being grateful to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala those drugs begin to make you forget that which god has given you Allah gave you these eyes when the Quran says aynain lisana wa shafatain Allah gave you the eyes he gave you the beautiful tongue he gave you those lips wallah sometimes in some third world countries you see children with a deformity on their face they're born with a deformity they're not able to even look straight and you are born full of health you're able to run around jog stride you're able to get an education But what happens when you go into the world of drugs? Dhikrullah suddenly begins to go. Even attendance, because what is the best dhikr of Allah? The dhikr of Muhammad and Al Muhammad, sallallahu wa sallam wa alayhi wa. Allahumma sallam wa madu'an. Allahumma sallam. Because this is a dhikr that we have in majalis. Suddenly, you who used to be there in Muharram, in Shah Ramadan, you used to be there in the Wilada, you used to be there in the Shahada. all of a sudden you find that your remembrance of allah on these occasions you start going missing the only reason you turn up to the mosque is no more dhikrullah no to subhanallah car parks of mosques are sometimes the best place to have a slip because you got to make sure your parents think you're at mosque so when you make sure your parents think that you're at mosque where is better Then let me go out those guys are smoking cigarettes who's going to know what i'm doing go around the corner and let's do this look what shaitan does he makes you forget the dhikr of allah inside the hall inside there's a majlis going on of abu abdullah what greater treasure is there in this world than majlis al husain alayhi salam what greater treasure majlis al husain brings itminan to the qalb of the human being and instead you find that these people Sadly, what like breaks your heart? Every car park you go to, look in the corner far away, there's a group of five standing there. Standing there. And what you're going to say that we don't the Quran is telling you Baba Shaytan yasuddakum an dhikrillah and what's his most important weapon? Wa an as-salah. Because once you start to enter that world, salah starts being sometimes maybe if I'm on it, if I'm ready to do it. I'm not saying these things. Had I said these things, you would say, "Well, that's your opinion." Allah says that that world of khamar, shaitan makes sure that you forget Allah and you begin to forget salah. Why does Allah mention you forget salah? Because if you really appreciate what salah is and maintain that connection with Allah, 
you show that you want to be guided, Allah will open the doors of guidance for you. Even if you're someone who's a drug addict or a drug dealer, get down on that prayer mat. Even if you just show Allah that I'm remembering you in salah, Allah will open many doors for you. Allah will not leave you like that. Therefore, the Quran, what did it say? The Quran said that shaitan would ensure that the moment you're in the world of drugs, you fight each other, you work for gangs, you're ready to kill in order that you get. You see some of these heroin addicts, Ya Allah, Ya Allah. May Allah never show any of our youth what you see with a heroin addict. Heroin addict wakes up in the morning, cannot rest, cannot rest until they know that somebody is waiting for them. Only when they know. And you notice, subhanAllah, psychologically, sometimes they don't even have to take that heroin. Just knowing that they've collected it, they calm down. Which shows that there is that period in the middle which can be worked on. But that heroin addict who we see, that heroin addict cannot rest. You look at them, no more eating or sudden random eating with some drugs. Suddenly you're randomly eating, as they say, the munchies, yes, randomly eating. And when you see that, someone asks the question that this person, Allah opens the door of maghfirah for them. As in someone who's got the needle or someone who's got the foil and they've been doing it 24-7. That person, Allah keeps the door of Tawbah open for them or is it hell straight away? No, the door of Tawbah is always open for them. Never. Any of you here who may have dabbled with some substances, part of the problem is be careful it doesn't become a gateway to more destructive substances. 